Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a two zipper pencil case. There is a zipper at the top and then one at the front and they are both separate compartments so you can keep your stationery nice and organized. To get the pattern for this, go over to my blog which is charmedbyashley.com. All those links will be in the description box below and also any more information will be in my information icon. Okay, so for this pattern you will have one large back piece one medium front piece and one small front piece. For the lining, you will have two large lining pieces, one medium lining piece, and one smaller lining piece. And then you'll have two zippers that are approximately the length of the bag or longer. The good thing about the nylon zippers is you can cut them down to size, so I get them from the thrift store and then I can just cut them for the size that I need. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take the front small piece, a zipper, place the zipper pull down on top, and then put one of the large lining pieces on top of that. If you have a directional fabric, make sure you're working at the top of the fabric. So you're just going to sew along that edge nice and close to your zipper. If you have a zipper foot, that is ideal as it just makes life so much easier. And once we did that, then we're gonna take the piece, flip it right sides out, and then we're going to do a top stitch along that edge. I like to do it about one millimeter right away from the fold. And I like to make a longer stitch length, so usually I sew at about a 2.5. I'll bump it up to a 3 when I do my top stitches. So every time we sew the zipper in, we're going to do this exact same process. And then on the back, you should have a seam on the lining, and that makes the lining stay flat inside the bag so it doesn't get caught in your zipper. Okay, so now we're going to take that piece, put it with the zipper pull down on top of the large back piece of the bag, and then we'll put the last large lining piece and sandwich that, and we will again sew along that zipper. And then I will flip it right sides out and do my top stitch again. So make sure you tug at the fabric underneath because sometimes um, if you don't do that, then the, the fabric, the lining will be shifted and then it will be laying nice and flat underneath. You gotta rip it out again. I've done that many times. So just make sure you tug on it so that it is nice and flat, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so now we're going to install our front zipper. So I'm using this really, really long one, but that's okay because I'm just gonna cut it when I am done installing it. And I'm going to lay it with the zipper pulled down on the bottom edge of that small front piece. And then we will take the medium size lining piece and then line it up with the edge. And we will sew along that edge to install this zipper. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. If you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted of upcoming tutorials. I'm so excited because fall and Christmas is around the corner and I just get super, super crafty when those months come around. So definitely stay tuned for some fun Christmas and fall decor tutorials and all that fun stuff. And if you're not already, follow me on my social media. I have Instagram and Facebook. So if you make any of my tutorials, I would love to see them. So definitely share over there. Okay, so this is how it should look so far. This lining piece here is going to actually tuck under the zipper like this. So that's how that's gonna go. And now we will put that last front piece on. Make sure if you do have the directional fabric that you are sewing it on properly. So I took it and I flipped it upside down. And then I'll take that small piece of lining 
and put that on top so the zipper is sandwiched between. And we will do the last seam and then the last top stitch and then both of our zippers will be completely installed. So then we will almost be done. So you might have some shifting fabric. I kind of did, as you can tell, it's not perfect. So you can square up your edges if you like. Um, and then of course, snip off the excess zipper. Make sure you only snip it off on the side that has the zipper stop on it, just so that you don't end up snipping off your zipper pull until we're completely finished sewing the bag. And then don't open your zipper at this point either because you're, then it'll just fly right off and then you'll have a real fun time trying to get back on. So this is how it's looking right now. And we're gonna sew it inside out. So we're gonna take the two large lining pieces and put those together. And then we're gonna take everything else and then push it to the one side. We're going to line up the lining pieces and that's gonna make your zipper kind of stand up on its side, but that's okay because that's how we want it to be when we're sewing. So it kind of is a little bit awkward right now, but just make sure that that zipper is standing on its side and, that zip, and the, the lining is perfect. So we wanna keep that, that's where we're gonna start and then that's where we'll go around the bag from. So we're gonna leave about a four inch gap at the bottom of the lining. So we'll start from the middle of the lining, we'll go down the one side, and then when we get to the zipper, we're going to fold it down, making sure that the zipper teeth are facing the um, outside of the bag. We'll keep going, and then we will, as you can see, the one piece of fabric is a little short, that's okay, I made things a little bit bigger just so I had some wiggle room. And then I will go down the other side, making sure that I open up my zippers so I don't end up sewing them away. <laughs> and then because I'm using the nylon, I can easily just sew right over top. And then I will open up my second zipper and then keep going, sew down and then go back down the bottom of the lining, but make sure you leave that four inch gap. So from here, then you can take it and, you know, chop off all of your excess fabric, excess zipper, snip the corners just to make it a little bit more cleaner. When you do go to turn it, it'll make your corners sharper if you snip off that extra fabric. And now I'm going to open up the zipper fully from the inside and then I'll turn the whole thing right side out. I will also take a chopstick, stick it into the lining and then push those corners out better. And then I take my lining, I'll pull it out and then I fold in those raw edges and then I'll just do a top stitch. If you wanna use um, a coordinating thread if you're selling them that's probably ideal but I usually just do a white stitch since you won't see them so this is how it turned out I think it's absolutely adorable I love these pouches my daughter wanted one for her school so she could have everything nice and organized and I just love this pouch so if you did don't forget to subscribe and all that fun stuff, follow me on my social media and find the pattern over at my Craftsy and Etsy, all linked below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.